Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Valencia. Valencia enjoyed strong economic growth before the economic crisis of 2008, much of it spurred by tourism and the construction industry, with concurrent development and expansion of telecommunications and transport. The city's economy is service-oriented, as nearly 84% of the working population is employed in service sector occupations. However, the city still maintains an important industrial base, with 8.5% of the population employed in this sector. Growth has recently improved in the manufacturing sector, mainly automobile assembly. Agricultural activities are still carried on in the municipality, even though of relatively minor importance with only 1.9% of the working population and 3,973 hectares planted mostly in orchards and citrus groves. Since the onset of the Great Recession, Valencia had experienced a growing unemployment rate, increased government debt, etc. Severe spending cuts had been introduced by the city government. In 2009, Valencia was designated the 29th fastest improving European city. Its influence in commerce, education, entertainment, media, fashion, science and the arts contributes to its status as one of the world's beta-ranked global cities. The Valencia metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $52.7 billion, and $28,141 per capita. Valencia's port is the biggest on the Mediterranean western coast, the first of Spain in container traffic as of 2008 and the second of Spain in total traffic, handling 20% of Spain's exports. The main exports are foodstuffs and beverages. Other exports include oranges, furniture, ceramic tiles, fans, textiles and iron products. Valencia's manufacturing sector focuses on metallurgy, chemicals, textiles, shipbuilding and brewing. Small and medium-sized industries are an important part of the local economy, and before the current crisis unemployment was lower than the Spanish average. Valencia's port underwent radical changes to accommodate the 32nd America's Cup in 2007. It was divided into two parts, one was unchanged while the other section was modified for the America's Cup festivities. The two sections remain divided by a wall that projects far into the water to maintain clean water for the America's Cup side. The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Valencia, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 44 minimum 6% of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 10 minutes, while 9% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 5.9 kilometers, while 8% travel for over 12 kilometers in a single direction. Starting in the mid-1990s, Valencia, formerly an industrial center, saw rapid development that expanded its cultural and tourism possibilities, and transformed it into a newly vibrant city. Many local landmarks were restored, including the ancient towers of the medieval city, and the St. Michael dels Reis Monastery, which now holds a conservation library. Whole sections of the old city, for example the Carmen Quarter, have been extensively renovated. The Pasig Maritime, a 4 kilometers long palm tree-lined promenade was constructed along the beaches of the north side of the port. The city has numerous convention centers and venues for trade events, among them the Fieri of Valencia Convention and Exhibition Center and the Palau de Congress, and several five-star hotels to accommodate business travelers. In its long history, Valencia has acquired many local traditions and festivals, among them the Falls, which were declared celebrations of international tourist interest on January 25, 1965, and UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity list on November 30, 2016, and the Water Tribunal of Valencia which was declared an intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2009. In addition to these Valencia has hosted world-class events that helped shape the city's reputation and put it in the international spotlight, for example, the regional exhibition of 1909, the 32nd and the 33rd America's Cup competitions, the European Grand Prix of Formula One auto racing, the Valencia Open 500 tennis tournament, and the Global Champions Tour of Equestrian Sports. The final round of the MotoGP Championship is held annually at the Circuito de la Comunitat Valenciana. The 2007 America's Cup yachting races were held at Valencia in June and July 2007 and attracted huge crowds. The Louis Vuitton stage drew 1,044,373 visitors and the America's Cup match drew 466,010 visitors to the event. The third largest city in Spain and the 24th most populous municipality in the European Union, Valencia has a population of 809,267 within its administrative limits on a land area of 134.6 square kilometers. 
The urban area of Valencia extending beyond the administrative city limits has a population of between 1,564,145 and 1,595,000. Also according to Spanish Ministry of Development, Greater urban area within Orta of Valencia has a population of 1,551,585 on area of 628, 81 square kilometers. In period of 2001 to 2011 there was a population increase of 191,842 people, an increase of 14.1%. About 2 million people live in the Valencia metropolitan area. According to the citypopulation.de, Metropolitan area has a population of 1,770,742, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, 2,300,000, according to the World Gazetteer, 2,513,965 and according to the Eurostat, 2,522,383. Between 2007 and 2008 there was a 14% increase in the foreign-born population with the largest numeric increases by country being from Bolivia, Romania, and Italy. This growth in the foreign-born population, which rose from 1.5% in the year 2000 to 9.1% in 2009, has also occurred in the two larger cities of Madrid and Barcelona. The main countries of origin were Romania, United Kingdom, and Bulgaria. The 10 largest groups of foreign-born people in 2018 were